Is it the right time for you to be buying or selling a home? Don't go it alone. Trust the team at DanGemis.com. I just wanted to say kudos. I thought it. A lot of people are thinking it. You said it. This is the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show. Okay. Hey. We're forcing noises. No, Matt. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everybody. Matt Alita and Mara Andeko in the studio. And uh, yes, we're going to give away the gift card for the Richmond Popcorn Company. Mara, you have the iPad and you're panicking. Did you get it? Did you press the button? Yes, I do. I have it. I have it. Okay, so congratulations to Diana uh, Leithorn. All right, Diana. Yes, Yes. congratulations. (laughs) Poor Mara. Sorry if I mispronounced your last name. Would it have helped? (laughs) Would it have helped if I made Will of Fortune noises when you hit the button, you know, like the boop? Yes, Lindy, exactly. Oh, that's Diana Linthorne. You know? Linthorne. Yes. yes. There you go, Diana. Congratulations. You get 50 bucks for the Richmond Popcorn Company. Congrats. Producer Aaron will be in touch uh, with the details. So there you go. Good job, Mara. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. Um, I love seeing as I pass my iPad over to the to the agents. Do we all are, get nervous? Yeah, everyone gets nervous. Ooh, I want to screw it up. Well, there's just not press. just one button, to be fair. I know. So. You gotta just press the draw button. So there you go. Okay, so it's time to talk about some top tips for first time home buyers. And uh, yeah, some good stuff here. Let's get through some of them. So uh, on the list, determine your budget. So this is a big one, especially right now as the market and the interest rates are shifting. You wanna know what you're what you can afford, right? Because what you if you got pre approved to say a year ago or two years ago, it's changed yep. uh, to what it is now, mm-hmm. right? And we always recommend our to our buyers that they get pre-approved before we even start looking at houses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. That's very important. You don't want to be looking, you know, outside your price range that's and right. then fall in love with something. That's right. So that's number two is to get pre-approved for a mortgage. We just covered that. Uh, research neighborhoods mm-hmm. next mm-hmm. on the list, Matt. Yeah, very much so. I, you know, last thing you want to do is you you find a house that you really like and you don't know anything about the neighborhood and you move in and you realize you've got, you know, neighbors that you didn't plan for yep <laughs> <laughs> to put it nicely yes so yeah definitely know the neighborhood before you decide to move in too funny uh next on the list work with a real estate agent yep that makes sense obviously you want uh someone on your side that knows the business knows what to look out for um that's hugely hugely important uh get a home inspection mm. so finally now we can start doing home inspections again which at the last couple of years buyers uh you know we want everyone doing home inspections let me start by saying that uh, but over the last couple of years, it's been very difficult because uh, buyers were losing offer after offer after offer after offer if they had conditions. So mm-hmm. it was almost forcing buyers to you know, think twice about putting conditions of uh, inspection, which we don't like uh, if they don't. So we're happy that the market's mm-hmm. now finally allowing home inspections again, right? Yes. Which is nice. 100%. Yeah, you end up in a situation there where you... Like you were saying before, when you start doing renovations, there's uh, never know. things yes. that you did You're not plan find. for that cost you a lot more. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Uh, next, don't skip the fine print. So again, as your realtors, it's our job to make sure you understand what you're signing, right? There's lots of paperwork. It can be very overwhelming. You want to make sure that you have someone on your side to explain all the nuances and there's conditions uh, and how to handle the conditions as you write offers and, uh, and take care of that aspect of it. Uh, consider resale value. So hugely important while you may be focused on finding the perfect home, it's essential to consider the property's resale value should you decide to sell in the future. Mm-hmm. So yes, it might, it might be something you love, but if it's very unique, you have to think about mm. potential That's buyers right. in the future. That's right. That's right. Safe for unexpected costs. <laughs> Can you imagine there's <laughs> unexpected costs in real estate? Um, so be prepared for unexpected costs that can arise during the buying process, such as appraisal fees, inspection costs, and closing costs. So that's mm-hmm. something that people don't often think about, right? So land transfer tax, land transfer tax, obviously. Yep. yep. That's all stuff that, uh, we will remind you of, uh, as we sit down for the first time with our buyers, don't rush, take your time and don't feel pressured to make a quick decision. So again, that's another di- um, difficult part about the last couple of years is buyers had to kind of get accustomed to moving fast because things were moving very, very fast, mm-hmm. which was stressful, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's not a fun... They didn't have too much time to think about it. Right, exactly. Uh, enjoy the process. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, pre-COVID, uh, people were able to enjoy the process of looking for a home and you know taking their time and sleeping on it a little bit. Oh, I love this house. Let's sleep on it. Um, last couple of years, not so much. It was not a stress-free um, process. Uh, be realistic about your needs. This is a big one, mm-hmm. right? Who wants mm-hmm. to talk on this one? 
Go ahead, Mara. Yeah, so, you know, it's uh, really dependent on your budget, you know, but if you are looking in the lower end, you do need to be realistic, right, with location and what you will get, you know, especially, um, as I said, for the lower end, you know, a lot of those properties won't have garages, some driveways even, right, only yes. on-street parking. So I know that that's what I deal with. A lot of people want, right, but can't always. Everyone has their, their wish list, right? Yeah. Um, but they have a certain budget. So you have to be cautious mm -hmm. as to what you can afford on your wish list for Separate that budget. the needs from wants, right? That's, that's right. Yes. That's be, be willing to identify them correctly. And uh, because, yeah, the worst thing you want to do is, is get into a home and realize that you overlook something that actually is a need. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you, you didn't identify it. And then, you know, you're stuck. You, you know, you're going to be there probably at least a couple years. That's right. And it can be kind of inconvenient. That's so. right. Uh, time for a couple more fast ones here. Um, be prepared for a bidding war. So, again, we're still seeing them in the lower market, in yep. the lower price point. We're still seeing um, bidding wars. So be prepared. Uh, and, again, our agents will explain what to expect and how to handle these situations in multiple offers if it comes down to that. Um, keep an open mind, like we talked about just a few seconds ago, right? Don't be stuck on what you originally wanted and once you start seeing things in your price point you might mm -hmm. realize that you have to be a bit more open-minded uh and be patient patience is key all good yeah. good points <laughs> not there. always easy to do that's yes. right well that's it mara matt thanks for joining us today we appreciate it thank, thank you. you and uh, again if you are looking to make a move give the dan Gemma's team a call seven days a week 519-566-5565 or find us on our website at DanGemis.com. We service all of Windsor and Essex County, everything up to this side of Chatham. So uh, we are there to serve you with all of your real estate needs. Thank you for tuning in today. We're back tomorrow uh, between noon and one here on AM 800. Some of our topics tomorrow, well, Windsor has rated one of the most polluted cities in the country. <laughs> wow. We'll talk about that. We'll also have some home staging tips with Monica Bundy and our featured business of the week as well. So lots more to come right here on the Dan Gemish uh, Show tomorrow between noon and 1. See you then.